You're very welcome to the Leash Shopping Centre Senior Football Championship quarterfinal clash between Grey Cullen and Ballylinen. This game today is brought to you by Tracy's Barn Restaurant based in the heat. Call in for a great pint and great food. Farrell and McElwee Solicitors providing a trusted and results driven service. JK Autos based in the heat just two minutes off the M7 motorway. Find them at jkautos.ie. Beers on Wheels, the best bar equipment with home draft beers, along with the Gallopers Rest Mobile Bar, now taking bookings for Christmas parties. And today's Monday match brought to you by DS Sports, based in Emo. Check out the half price sale online now. Very welcome here today to MW Higher Moor Park for this Lee Shopping Centre quarter final between Ballyline and Grey Cullen in what is the wet and cold and windy Moor Park. And um, I'm joined today by Alan Malone. So, and um, we have um, a couple of changes that we know from the, the Grey Cullen team. Um, so we're going to do the Grey Cullen team first. And in goal is um, Danny Bulger. Full back line, Owen Aylesbury, Mark Timmons and Martin Doyle. The half back line, Luke Aylesbury, Trevor Collins and Danny Aylesbury. Midfield is Jamie Sheehan. Paul Mulready is replaced by number 24. And that's Sh- Shane Shaq O'Neill. Half forward line, Brian Byrne, Ross Alcock and Daniel O'Reilly Dicey. Full forward line, Ross Hennessy, Chris Hurley and Ambrose Dorn was listed. But of course, he's to be no change. He's replaced by number 17, Bobby Dyle. And on the, the Ballylinen team, the line out is this. We haven't heard any changes, but we'll keep an eye if it does. We'll try and get them to as soon as possible. So in goal, Podge Walsh. Kieran Fennessy, Parik McAvoy and Eric Kenna. Kenna. Midfield, two Farrell brothers, Alan Farrell and Jamie half forward line Cahill Fennessy Liam Keeley and Larry right outside him Kieran Farrell Gary Walsh and Cahill Dunn make up the full forward line as I said Brendan McCann is the referee for today's match this is an important kick from to get underway the thing, and that goes straight over no, no problem from that time Alan yeah brilliant score and he'll just settle him down P6 yeah. whereas on the opposite end it's kind of similar it's Andy McAvoy leading the line on top of the big square um, and Gary is coming out on top of the D, uh, being marked by Mark Timmons. And Brian Byrne makes no no doubt about that, pops it straight over the bar, and that's a great score. And then doing absolutely working hard, Lacey comes in there with a big hit and got it. Crossed here to Dicey. Dicey takes a shot, but that drops into into Podge Walsh's hands, and he'll deal with that handy. So now, Bellaline are going to try and attack. They're all back, but there's two of them still up. You still have, um, you see number 18 came in there for um, Andy McPherson. And here's burn across and that's a great goal he missed out on that, and that he saw the run inside popped it to Ross Hennessy and it was a lovely little dink in to the far he didn't have much room to get it much room for her the second score on the board he'll have a good effort at this anyway Mark Timmons tries to guide him the way in is that drop shark no drop straight over the bar yeah it's positive so long. like I said that's their second score now with the win that wing again waiting across here it's Martin Dyle if they need him, but they're not going to play him as Jamie Sheen tries to take him on and gets through three, four players, pops it outside, trick one, and luckily Brian was able to capture that. I'm not sure he's expecting it, but Shaq tries to go off on a run. He'd be dragged back. No, said the referee. Shaq still has it. Looking to see who's in the middle. He just puts the ball across the square, and that is an excellent score. Um, that was an unbelievable angle, Alan. And that's a huge score for Greg Cullen. So we're 22 minutes gone. Greg Cullen one goal and two points, Bally line in two points as Brian Bourne steps up to take this free. And everyone looking at the umpire, more importantly the umpire has decided to score and they stretch it out to Greg Cullen one goal and three points, Bally line in two points. They say it just went to ground but that's what's going to happen. Then Larry Keeley puts it forward now, one and one but no, who's going to break it's either does break. Cahill Dunn gets on the end of it, this could be dangerous. Cahill Dunn must nearly pick it up as the lads go to ground inside. It's very slippery, it's like playing with a bar of soap I suppose. Um, Martin Dyle is on Cahill Dyle turns back out in his right hand and scores a great point um, you can see the conditions of the poor wind blowing into his face and he doesn't take too much time over and takes the kick it looks to be going to the right and wide but the wind could hold that up there it's still in there around as um, Alcock uh, Aylesbury got underneath outside of Chris Hurley Chris Hurley turns and that's a great score you know what I mean that was, that's that's determination and work there you have to be in there for the breaks Alan don't you? Uh, it's a fantastic pass from Danny Aylesbury the tree Probably for Greg's possession of the ball, Pat McLillis will probably be f- pretty happy enough. As Gary Walsh takes the kick and it goes straight over the bar. Yeah. 32 minutes gone, 1 4, Greg Cullen, 4 points. The two point game. So Gary Walsh 
coming up and the strokes over the bars. Brendan McCann calls half time on this game. Um, so the score at half time, Greg Cullen won four, Ballet down to five points. Um, it was lucky to deal with that. That could have gone anywhere. And uh, dangerous today, Alan. It was, yeah. And it probably wasn't the shot to take on, though, Pat. Dicey probably should have held it and just tried to bring it in there 10 yards closer. And say, for, for Greg's possession now, they're not putting on the scoreboard. No, and here it go. Ross Alcock with the break. Chris Hurley outside him. He plays Hurley. Hurley with the team shot. And that goes over the bar. It could have been more, but Greg Cullen would be delighted to get any score, I suppose. Yeah, the will have got one of the score now. Back to the clear of the line. And fantastic stuff from Brian to finish him out to Trevor Collins. Um, great man in your team, Alan. And not your team, but I'm going to call it your team, the Greg Cullen team. That was a important interception from him. Martin Tyno gets it on the roll. Aylesbury. That's Luke, is it? Um, inside Chris Hurley calling for it. Jane, um, Martin Doyle gets it. Fini- Seamus Lacey let him know he was there. Um, they come across Dicey back to Chris Hurley. Hurley over here is um, Luke. Luke Aylesbury looking for it. Did he get on it? He did. He made the gap. He's turning up on the right hand boat. And that is in the day like today. That's a super score, Alan. That was a brilliant score. And he made a great run inside. And Chris picked him out. Jane O'Neill there, Shaq. Um, for Greg Cullen as Danny Bulger comes up and kicks this one low and trajectory but straight over the bar well measured there and that stretches their lead out to one goal in eight haven't before didn't it this was restarted before as the whistle blew waiting for one team to come back but anyway Greg Cullen have got back in time and um, they hope to to make sure that battle line don't capitalise on that but um, away they go now up the side is Alan Farrell Alan tries a long speculative kick aside Gary Walsh John Keeley's aside they're underneath John Keeley catches it back across Gary Walsh gets a hand on it and it goes through the net and that's the goal you were talking about and that came from John Keeley out he's gone to the edge of the square it's a different challenge for Timmins um, and as a result of that he went up Timmo went up with him Gary found himself back to Mulready Mulready tries to set off and he gets the gap he's they going he kicks it across and that's um, is that Bobby that's um, Bobby Doyle I think that's free Bobby Dyle, Chris Hurley inside him. He's looking for Hurley, he takes it, pops it across to Hennessy. Hennessy turns back on his right. That's a high kick though. Is that going anywhere? And that's a little score that you thought when he left the boot he wasn't going to make it, but, but he did. Vital. I just see four minutes played. Gary Walsh is looking for players to go back. That looks like Timo standing in front of him. He goes for the shot and goes over the bar and brings it back to a goal between them now. So it's 1 6 Bally Line and 1 9 Greg Cullen. 64 at this stage as Mulready takes it off. And out it comes. That's um, Martin Doyle again. Doyle to Bobby Doyle. And, Dan- and Brendan McCann calls full time on it. And Greg Cullen are delighted as they advance. Trevor, um, you're nice and cold and wet. And that was uh, all we can just while you gather your breath for. We can say to you from, from our point of view and from the fans' point of view, the two teams put on a fantastic show there today of, of football in what must have been absolutely atrocious conditions trying to play in, Trevor. Yeah. Uh, Ah look, it was always going to be a dog and a fair, like Valley Line are always a tough side, I think. As far as I can remember the last time they played us off the field here a couple of years ago, I know, so we had to get one over on them. Um, in conditions like that, you, like look, even top inter county players struggle with conditions like that, you know, no ball and stick and there's always going to be mistakes, so it was always going to be a tough game and mm. whoever dogged it out till the last minute was going to be going to come away with the, the win at the end of the day, like so thankfully we dug in, we worked hard and we we got our just rewards at the end of the day as well. So. And you did work hard. You had to put an awful lot of ball through your hands. You know, the likes of Martin Doyle, the Aylesbury's, did the savage work as we saw here. You know, they're constantly on the ball yourself, dicey, back and forth. You really had to do until the opportunities came up front. You know what I mean? Um, you really had to pick your scores. And then Danny Budger coming, you know, those couple of points that he can score really settle you as well, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's great to have players like that, you know, cornerbacks looking to go forward, even in conditions like that, like not being afraid to go forward. And, and get on the ball as much as possible. Like you know, it's it's great to, that we're not always depending on the playmakers to kind of get the ball going forward and stuff like that. And then of course having a keeper like Danny Bulls are able to settle it down mm. 40, 50 yards out, clip the ball over the bar. You know, it's a joy as well to watch. And we were three down myself and Alan were here. We were looking to see how you know Gary Walsh and Mark Timmins going to turn out. And that turned out to be a real battle. And I, I suppose on a day like today, we'd have to say that Mark Timmins definitely shaded that battle. I think, and and you wouldn't expect anything different off him. Yeah, oh, look, I, I can't remember the last day I seen Mark have a bad day in fairness, but um, <laughs> but then again, like you know, it's, we can't always leave it up to Tim Woods. You know, it has to, we have to stop the ball going. Is he getting it. old? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes, he's getting better as the years go on. So <laughs> yeah. um, but no, we, we do have to we do have to step up outside and stop the ball from going into into him to get to kind of give him a hand as well to make his day a bit easier. Like yeah. you know what I mean? So 
But he did well again today. <laughs> I won't hold you too long in the weight jersey, Trevor, but you know, we, we don't know when the semi final is going to be. You won't mind you, you're in the pot, you don't care, you know, whenever the draw is made or whatever, yourselves and Ballyfin are in there, so you'll just settle back down and rest now and see what happens. And you, you don't care, I suppose, who comes out with you once you're in it, you? No, no, you have to beat the best teams at some stage, like, and we're. But we're having plenty, plenty of time now to get our shot at a final, so hopefully we go over a semi-final now and we'll enjoy the day out then. Uh, then again, but we won't look too much further in the semi-final, whoever we have next, we won't look at whoever we get, we don't care to be honest with you, we'll, we'll take whoever comes at us and hopefully this is our year now. Trevor, thanks very much and oh, best of luck for God. Peace God, we we'll see you inside. Thanks, yeah, well done. And today's Monday match brought to you by DS Sports, based in Emo. Check out the half price sale online now. And Monday match for today's game is Greg Cullen's Luke Aylesbury. Luke, probably the most consistent footballer in leash at the moment. He was up and down the field all day. He defended ferociously and attacked at pace, along with scoring a superb point. Kudos, Luke.